Today, we're going to be trying to be in pop up mode with the random towers mod, but we can only get random magic monkeys. So, let's see if we can win. In pop up mode is very scary because we only have one life, and every tower we place down should be completely random. So, here we go. This is not even bad at all. Oh my god, we've got to summon Phoenix on round six. Now, every five rounds, we can place a new tower down, and they are all going to transform into a random magic monkey. Now, magic monkeys are probably the best class of monkey to randomize into because of of course, we have the Super Monkey, which is the most expensive tower in the entire game. So, what do we get? Oh my god, this is actually amazing. This is a fifth tier alchemist, one of the best ones we could have gotten. Balloon Master Alchemist. This is going to be one-shotting CMGs. Of course, we're going to be destroying all of these early rounds. Incredibly easy, but we have to go all the way to round 100, which is not going to be easy at all. Getting to round 80 in hard mode is pretty easy, but when you have to go all the way to round 100, you have to face bad balloons. And also, we just got a useless rubber to gold. Like, this is good for the early balloons, right? But this tower is useless late game. This challenge is going to get really difficult because even though we've gotten lucky so far, it's nowhere near enough to defeat the late rounds. We can place down another tower and I'm going to go for the super monkey. Please transform into a super monkey. And this is literally the most useless one. Oh, wait. Do we have camo detection? We don't have camo detection. We don't have camo. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to have to use my emergency, my one emergency randomization. It does have camo detection, which is very lucky. Actually, this is huge. A master bomber. We can set this to strong and also target the camera balloons. But other than that, we barely have any good camera detection. I think we're going to count this as round 25's random tower instead of our emergency randomization. Technically, we put it down on round 24, but it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to put a tower at the back. Maybe this is a bad idea, but please transform into a super monkey. Yes. Okay. This isn't amazing, but a sun avatar with epic range so it can even reach these bits as well. That is going to be amazing balloon cleanup for everything that gets to the back. Okay, I'm going to put another Super Monkey down. Now, the last time I put a Super Monkey down, it completely disappointed us. So, what is wrong with the Super Monkey, guys? I forgot we even had the Druid, but this is the Hard Thorns, Hard Inventions, barely any upgrades on it. Okay, I'm going to place the Super Monkey down on round 40 one more time. And if it does not give me something good, we are never putting another Super Monkey down. Also, we had some Camo Whites there. We were able to defend against them. We are really close to getting the mob. The mob is going to be on round 40, which obviously we have the Summon Phoenix. We have the Sun Avatar. We're fine against the early mob class balloons. It is just the camos that I am terrified about. Well, here is the mob, and as you can see, we already have the master mob destroying it as soon as it came out. Yeah, we're really good against those. Anyway, let's put another super monkey down. I'm going to put it right here. Please be something good. Otherwise, I'm never putting another one down. And of course, we get another alchemist, which is barely going to do any damage. This should be the best class to randomize into. And I mean, we have gotten good upgrades like the sun avatar, but we keep getting useless alchemist wizards and juries, we really do need something better. Now, the good thing about the Alchemist is even though it's not going to be doing much damage, it is going to be buffing all the towers in its radius, which is going to be this ninja, actually. So that is definitely going to help. But it's also round 45. I'm going to put a ninja down because as you can see, wow, camo purple balloons, not easy to destroy. We're going to put it right here. Please be something good. And we get a transforming tonic. Okay, so this is a decent ability along with the Summon Phoenix. We have two good abilities to try and do this, but we're going further and further into into this challenge, we really do need to get something better. We have camo region purples on this round. Now, if we had any camera section that wasn't the ninja, right? Camo purples would be a huge problem because, of course, magic can't pop purple balloons. Purple balloons in general are going to be difficult for this challenge. But because we have the ninja, it's going to hugely help because the shurikens don't count as a magic attack. We also have a lot of fortified ceramics, and this is going to be a difficult round coming up here. There are a lot of ceramic balloons. We should be good. I could actually just use my phoenix ability, and that is, oh my god, it is destroying. Look at this. I did not realize how powerful this ability it was. And we also have the transforming tonic just in case we need to buff our alchemist a bit. It is round 50, so I'm once again going to put another ninja down in the range of this alchemist. We're going to put it like right here so it can hopefully reach everything. And yes, yes, okay. More camera section firstly, but we also get an absolutely amazing ability. The Grand Saboteur. That is going to actually halve the health, I believe, of mob classes. We have camo ceramics here, uh, which we are actually kind of struggling against, not going to lie. Uh, it looks like we should be good though, but much 
harder to destroy than I thought. And you can see the Sun God is not doing any damage to it. So unfortunately, we don't have the Ultra Vision on this. I love how the Master Bomber just destroys these mobs instantly as soon as they come on the map. Also, if you guys want to see me do this challenge with another class of towers like support, that could be kind of funny, then leave a like and a comment on this video. Let's try and hit 1,000 likes. Also, I'm trying to come back from a nine month break from being severely ill. So if you want to help out, I really do appreciate it. We can put another tower down. I'm actually going to go for the Alchemist and we're going to put this right at the start, please. Okay, this is not terrible, right? It doesn't have camera detection. It's not great, but it is at least a super monkey. Guys, we could literally randomize into any super monkey. Why is it giving me the laser blast and a sun god? Dude, give me the true sun god temple or the anti balloon or something absolutely amazing. We have the BFB. Oh, we have camo leads on this round, but I think we do have the flash bomb on the ninja, right? Also, does the phoenix? Yes, the phoenix does detect camo balloons, which is very good. So I'm glad we had that because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to defend against those camo leads. Anyway, we have the BFB on this round and, and now we don't have the BFB. Oh my god, we literally destroyed that in two seconds. Like, my defense is absolutely amazing against mobs and BFBs. Maybe ZMGs not so much. Also, we can put down yet another tower. I'm going to try out the Super Monkey again. I feel like it's going to be lucky this time. And it is kind of lucky, actually. We got the Plasma, which is much better than the Laser. We also get the Ultra Vision on that as well. So let's set that to camera. Let's every single thing that detects camera, guys, we're going to put this targeting on. We have a lot of ceramic balloons on this round, but I think we should be fine. This Sun Avatar, as you can see, that is a lot of balloons, right? But our Sun Avatar is going to be able to clean everything up. So I think we're safe, but these rounds are only going to get harder and harder. Now, we do have one emergency randomization because this one didn't count because this counted as our tower on the next round. Also, it is round 65, which means we can get another tower. I'm going to go for the ninja and hope we, guys, we really want to get a true Sun God Temple. I'm going to put it in range of the buffing alchemist. And oh my god, a fireball plus intense magic. That is not what we need when it is round 65. We don't want to be getting these really bad tier towers. We want to be getting the 40s and the 50s. In fact, we actually have three fifth tier towers, but unfortunately, they are some of the weakest ones we could have gotten. We've got camo, fortified, regen ceramics on that round, but we are going to be good. That is a lot to say. It is round 70, which means we can put another tower down. We're going to go for a druid. I haven't really put that many druids down. And again, we should probably put it in range of the buffing alchemist, right? Okay, another sticky bomb. This is really good. Now, it's not the master bomb, all right? But now we have two sticky bombs. It also has the faster attack speed, which is great. Okay, this is getting pretty good. But of course, we have basically no bad balloon popping power, right? On round 100, the bad balloon is going to come. And I don't know if we're going to be able to destroy it. Like, we have this Blue Master Alchemist, right? Which can literally one-shot anything up to the Bad Balloon into a Red Balloon. But unfortunately, this does not affect the Bad Balloon. So we're going to have to take the Bad Balloon out with all our firepower. Yeah, this round is going to be quite difficult. I will use the Phoenix ability if we need to. And actually, the Transforming Tonic as well. Uh, are we going to be okay? No, I think with this extra Ninja, we are actually doing really well against all these Camera Balloons. Now, obviously, there are rounds later on in like 10 rounds which are probably going to destroy us, but we do have the Phoenix ability that we can use on harder rounds, and we also actually have the Grand sub ability. If I use that right now, you can see it slows down all balloons. Like, I'm fast-forwarding this right now, and they were so look how slow these level balloons are. That is actually amazing. You can see all these BFBs are coming on the screen, and this thing is literally one shot. Oh my god, that was a lot of balloons. I probably shouldn't have it fast-forwarded. Anyway, let's get another tower down. Let's get a ninja right here. Guys... Guys, I might actually have to use my emergency randomization very soon. Hard Thorns plus Thorn Swarm? That is terrible. That's like what you want to get on round five. We don't want to be getting that on round... We're on round 77 right now. We're nearly facing off against the ZOMG Balloon on round 80. And we can't be having towers like this, guys. Seriously, we can randomize into any magic tower. And it is choosing the worst towers possible. Okay, we have a lot a lot of ceramic balloons on this round. I think there's a camel wave after this as well. You can see how far they're getting. Like, we do have good firepower, but we also have a lot of, like, half our towers are basically doing nothing, which is really not helping us at all. I thought purple balloons would be a big challenge in this challenge, but no, we're actually amazing. Oh, wait, okay, that's a big wave of balloons. You know what? I'm using every single one of my abilities because those are tons of camo ceramics, and you can see 
Oh, I think we are. Okay, we are able to beat them with the help of our abilities. But that is an extremely scary round. Now, on the next round, we do have the CMG. We also have a ton of region rainbows. But as you can see, we are doing amazing against all of the regular balloons. Even if they're region rainbows, which is normally pretty hard to pop, we are popping them super easy. Let's use the Phoenix as well. I'm really surprised by how good the Phoenix ability actually is. Anyway, we have the CMG on this round. And we should be able to... Yep, we, we literally just one shot the cmg <laughs> that is absolutely amazing okay uh this is risky guys this is risky but i'm gonna go for the super monkey please please be something good okay total transformation wait oh my god this is another fifth day, and this is going to be really good yes i don't think i've ever got this alchemist before the total transformation so what happens if i Oh, it literally turns your monkeys into mini attack monsters. That is hilarious. I hope these pop camera balloons. But oh, this actually might be the bad popping power that we need. This ability is amazing. I'm so glad we got that fifth tier. Uh, the alchemist is actually, we've got two fifth tiers out of the three fifth tiers, right? We don't have the super buffing one, but this is really good. As we're playing in impopple mode, we literally only have one life. So if something goes wrong, well, we're literally gonna lose like even one red balloon sneaking past my defense is going to make us lose so we really want to make sure that, that we're not leaking to any red balloons though i don't think that's possible when we do have an amazing sun avatar right there now you can see there are a lot of balloons on these rounds these rounds are getting harder and harder this has 188,000 pots by the way this balloon master alchemist is turning all of the really strong balloons into red balloons in fact i believe it has the most pops yeah it has more pops than even our master bomber, which has been bombing these mobs for over 40 rounds. Anyway, we can go for once again another town. Now, I'm going to get something near the back, right? Because I want more stuff near the back just to help out. And this is... Okay, no, this is... No! Oh my god, we got the shimmer, right? Which literally decamos balloons. But it's at the back of the map, which basically makes it useless. Also, oh my god, we have... So many ZMGs on that round, but it looks like, no, our defense is just about good enough to deal with all these rounds. Of course, we are playing on a very long map, which does make it a lot easier. But seriously, our defense is pretty solid. It's not overpowered. We don't have the true Sun God Temple or anything. I wish we did, guys. I mean, we only have one round to go until round 90. Right, okay, we have DDTs on this round. Now, you know what? I'm just going to use the Grand Saboteur ability right now. And we're also going to put a tower near the start right there. Okay, Pop Blast, Heart of Oak pretty bad we have the master bomb which is destroying these ddts and yes okay that was easy i am actually surprised by how easy that is i didn't think we'd be able to destroy that round so easily but i guess oh wait okay these rounds are getting harder i'm actually going to use the total transformation and as you can see these attack monsters are overpowered they are doing so much damage to all these four to oh no fortified ceramics by the way i mean that is really difficult let's actually use the phoenix ability uh we do have have the grand saboteur ability if we need to use it but we're clearly struggling quite a bit against all of these fortified balloons now look at the balloon master alchemist guys it is actually let's set that strong right it is going to be one shotting this cmg oh no oh no we have ddts we have ddts okay i'm using the total transformation ability wait can it i don't think it can even detect camo guys that's not good we're gonna use our phoenix right here I was really hoping that the attack monsters could detect camo. It's kind of bad that they don't. Anyway, we have one emergency randomization that we can use. So I'm just going to use it now because these rounds are getting really hard. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Counter espionage? No, that is so bad. And also, we are starting to really struggle on these rounds. They are actually approaching this bend, which they haven't really done before. Now, we do have the Sun Avatar, which is exactly why I wanted it at the back. To clean up all these sand balloons, you can see its range is amazing. It's doing a good job. The balloons are pushing further and further. Oh no, and we have so many camo purples. And we're getting a trash tower. No, we've used our emergency randomization. We just got a trash tower. We Guys, we really... Really can't. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through the next five rounds. Like, these are going to be the hardest five rounds that we've had to go through. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We're kind of getting trash towers. We only get one more random tower. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use this ability just to clean up all these fortified DDTs. I think we're going to have to use our Phoenix as well. And we're going to have to use our Sabotage. We're literally using 
all of our abilities. Oh, this actually sucks so bad. But this is going to be a really difficult round. I believe it has 30 DDTs on it. So if we're able to destroy this round, then we should be able to beat the rest of the rounds, right? That was a really difficult round. We had to use all our abilities, but it looks like this next round is kind of... Oh, no. Oh, my God. That is so many four to five more balloons. Okay, we're going to have to use this ability again. The attack monsters do seem to be really good against the four to five balloons. So hopefully it's going to carry me through this round until we can use our granite sabotage ability guys the abilities are seriously carrying us in this challenge like the towers are good right don't get me wrong but we have so many trash towers and also this alchemist is one shotting even fortified zmgs which is just absolutely absurd okay this is a very 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 difficult round so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use half of our abilities now right this is looking really bad i think the sabotage has worn off we're going to use the attack monster ability and oh my god it's just cleaning up so well like don't get me wrong the rounds are still hard but this ability is doing so oh wait oh no oh no oh no fortified ddts we do have the master bomber and another sticky bomb are we gonna be okay this is a really scary round but it looks like oh my god we actually made it to round 100 we can put down our final random tower of course, of course it is, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be a counter espionage ninja, which is absolutely terrible, but we have the master bomber. We have a lot of good towers. We're going to use this ability. We can't use the grand sabotage. I really, I don't think it works on it. We're going to use our phoenix and it looks like we are able to beat it. That was kind of easier than I was expecting. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.